Welcome back to the Penhody Project, Ungulate Edition. Uh, for those that don't know what ungulate means, so I can let you pause the video right now and go Google that, or you can take my word for it. It means hoofed mammals, and that's what we're hunting today. That's what we hunt during the ungulate editions of the Penhody Project. Um, yeah, that's what we're doing. It's been a unique season. I can kind of bring you guys up to speed real quick. We didn't hunt much in September, almost none at all, which is typically when we start our thing is the 1st of September here in Kentucky. Had a busy September. A little sister got married, obligations here and there. Um, it was the last, last week of September before I got up here for the first time. Um, I think the third week of the season. And the old saying, don't count your chickens before they hatch. Well, we did some chicken counting this year before they hatched. We've got a couple WMAs up here that we like to kick around on in Kentucky and got familiar with a little bit. And um, we thought we would do a quota permit. They're all our quota for the rut hunts. And I've never hunted Kentucky during the rut. I've hunted it in 19 and 21 and um, was fortunate enough to kill a deer both years before the rut. This year, yeah. was kind of dragging our feet a little bit, thinking that we'd really like to experience Kentucky during the rut. We thought we were due for a quota draw. Well, as I said, we counted our chickens too early and we didn't get drawn for the quota, even though everything I researched and was told we were due. So, lesson learned, but that being said, when I was here the last week of September, Dad and I did a lot more walking and scouting than we did hunting. We uh, were essentially trying to locate doe groups and rut funnels, that kind of thing. Did a lot of walking. My whole theory, idea, what I had my game plan, I guess you'd say, was finding these oaks that would be dropping during that early rut stage and concentrate on doe groups and uh, hang out there. Well, I did a lot of walking. Oaks were pretty thin this year. The early dropping oaks that I was able to find, I went ahead and threw a camera on, which is another thing. The strategy's kind of tailored itself to the new technology and the introduction of these cell cameras. Used to, I would find a feed tree that was getting hit hard and I would come hunt it to figure out what was hunting, what, what was on it. Um, see how many deer was on it, blah, blah, blah. Well, now you can drop a cell camera on the thing and keep on moving, which is what I did. I uh, got a couple of those things, and when I'd find a hot tree, I'd drop a cell camera on it, and I'd keep on moving and trying to find another one. Because, like I said, they were pretty thin this year, and finding them wasn't easy. It took a lot of miles. But we got, um, we got a handful of them found and got cell cameras on them, and my idea was if something big was hitting those acorns before dark then we would go in and hunt it but if not we were just going to keep monitoring the doe groups and get ready for november we seen deer when i did hunt we did see some deer we seen a good many deer nothing big um didn't really have anything big on camera either but we just knew that we were kind of killing time until november um had not shot a deer until a couple hours ago that you guys have seen by this point of the video. I uh, tried to shoot a deer about a week and a half ago. Dad and I came up here and decided we were going to have a doe day and um, went in and Dad did his part and killed him a doe and I screwed up a sure thing. So, go figure. But I righted my wrongs this morning and went ahead and collected me a doe because we're getting kicked off this place tomorrow. So, this is a uh, white oak over my shoulder here that's been dropping now for a couple of weeks and I've had a camera on it and the dang deer have just been living on it. Um, I mean, 24 hours a day there was deer in front of that camera up under that oak, so I had to come get the camera. Um, so I'll be packing out some, be packing out my buddy T Hall with some deer sticks on the way out because honestly, I took one of the deer that he killed in Oklahoma last year, as well as the deer that I had killed, and my freezers 
we're not running thin yet, so I didn't really have a reason to to kill a deer um, at this point anyway. But I made the mistake of letting my buddy T. Hall eat some of deer sticks I had in the cooler, and he said he's got to have a deer made into them. So T. Hall, I got you some deer sticks right back here on the ground. I got to get her cleaned up and drug out of here, but you'll have some deer sticks here for soon. But anyways, I think we're about caught up on the season. I think I about caught you guys all up. We came that first week of September, um, did mostly some scouting, saw some deer here and there when we did hunt, uh, came back. Actually, my first trip was cut a little bit short because Dad stayed and hunted Georgia because he had a big deer he was hunting. And I was up here for a day and he killed that big deer so I had to pack up and head back to take pictures and celebrate with him on that big deer stud deer for Georgia especially anywhere really but came back we did more scouting did a little bit of hunting and uh, yeah we got the word the seventh that we didn't get drawn for our quota so we hauled tail up here I think we had five days Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, seven 12, 13, 7 days and we got up here, yeah we had 5 days to hunt so we came up here to, to essentially pull all our cameras that we had out and hunt the 5 days that we had left before we got kicked off and we've seen deer because um, I'm going jumping in and hunting all these feed trees that I found that I haven't haven't really messed with instead of going in there and slamming a bunch of does I was more or less kind of keeping them for bait as you could say for the rut but since we ain't going to be able to hunt it came in here collected one of them and uh, yeah if we hunt the Kentucky rut it'll be on fresh ground and we'll be going in as virgins to the Kentucky rut so this may be the only ungulate edition you see this year from Kentucky for sure maybe the only one period you can't ever tell about Pinhoti project and ungulates Sometimes we'll do it hardcore. Sometimes we won't do it at all. We're a turkey thing. We're turkey hunters. But we do like throwing arrows at them from time to time. And it was fun. We had a good time this morning. Slipped in here and got situated about 30 minutes before it broke. Let everything settle. The woods are absolutely on fire. I mean, it is beautiful. October 13th west wind man it's been a fine morning <laughs> anyways I think I've got y'all completely caught up now on uh, what has happened thus far for the ungulate 2022 edition so if you feel like hanging around you're more than welcome to we'll probably be doing this a bit more we still got the fun month to come. So, hey, if you do hang around, I appreciate you. If you don't, I don't blame you. Just come back for turkey season. We, we usually got some pretty decent turkey stuff. At least I think it's decent. I mean, Y'all tell me if you think it's decent. I think the turkey stuff is pretty decent. Deer hunting stuff, nah. But turkey, I feel like we do okay. So, let me get down. I gotta clean this old girl up and get out of here. That double was our lucky tree. Go fetch your arrow. Should be right here. And luckily, we don't have any tracking required. I mean, they have been absolutely killing. There's some more. 
there is the projectile buried in the ground. <clears throat> buried in the ground about what? Six inches or so. the prize. I sure enjoy those top tracking jobs because I'm not one to sit here and sugarcoat things. Tracking deer is not my favorite thing. Hey y'all girl. Thank you lady. feed tea hall this spring. I appreciate it and I'm sure he appreciates it too. Well, we're nearly back. We got her all cleaned up. Got her camera pulled. Got everything squared away. She's on her back. And uh yeah. We about get today this morning adventure passed us, the wind's picked up. So uh, we should have some wind cover for this evening's adventures. We'll see if we can uh, mess around and, and get close to one. We gotta cut in right here. Y'all hang around if you want to. See if we can't find us one. One in with them big old antlers. We're here in Kentucky for the next few days, the next couple of days, we're trying to hunt Big majestic white tails, majestic big ones, or medium ones, decent ones, uh, fair to medium white tails is what we're hunting. So, y'all stay tuned. Hey, we appreciate you guys joining us for this video. If you like this one, you'll probably like the next one. I'll leave it up here in the corner. Don't forget to subscribe and follow along with us. We'll leave our social media links down at the description below. That's also where you'll be able to find links on the turkey calls we use and the apparel we wear and that kind of stuff. So you can find that in that little drop down description below. And uh, as always, we sure appreciate you guys following along.